Chief Executive Officer of Jatike Center for Human Security, Adib Sani, has expressed grave concerns over government adamant posture to implement the recommendations of the Justice Emotion Commission. Now, the security analyst believes that posture would further embolden other members to feel empowered. The Ayawasu West Wagon electoral violence left people injured while a sitting member of parliament was physically assaulted. Recommendations by the Justice in Mushot's Commission on the issue is yet to be implemented as government issued a white paper rejecting some of the recommendations. Parliament fast-tracked the passage of the Vigilantes Law last year, but it is yet to be tested. A year on, Chief Executive Officer of Jatike, Sani Adib, described government's approach to the issue as worrying, citing lack of political will to address the phenomenon. I knew from the onset it's a political ploy uh, because there was so much pressure from within and outside of Ghana for government to show some level of commitment to dealing with the space of political violence and vigilantism within the country, hence uh, the setting up the, of the commission. But I knew it would end there. There wouldn't be any conscious, deliberate attempt by government to follow up on the recommendations. Hence, I wasn't particularly uh, surprised that the government issued the so-called white paper debunking almost every recommendation made by the commission. Sani Adib also underscored lack of commitment on the part of government to security systems. You have the National Security Minister, the Minister of State in charge of security, the Minister of the Interior, the, the National Security Coordinator, and a whole host of others doing almost the same thing. And uh, it, 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 it's, it's not really helping and I've not seen any commitment on the part of government to, as it were, sanitize the, 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 the reporting structure.